Hello, my name is Gary Spencer and I'm a desktop support technician at the Blake Upper School. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to back up your computer to an external hard drive. First thing we want to do is take our hard drive and we want to plug it into our computer into the USB port. Once we do that, it should show up on our desktop. That may take a few seconds. There it is. All right. You may already know how much space you have available on your hard drive. Uh, maybe it's 250 gigs, maybe up to a terabyte. Um, if you've used this before, you may be unsure. You may have other things on there. Um, if it's newly formatted, then you already know you have all the space available. To do a quick check, if you want to be for sure how much space you have available on it, just click on your hard drive. Then we're going to do a Command I on the keyboard, and that's Get Info. And here we'll find, it says our capacity is 249 gigs, and our available space is 249 gigs. I know that this, this hard drive that I'm using doesn't have anything on it. It's blank. So I have full capacity. Next step I want to do is I want to see how much information I need to back up. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the File menu. I'm going to open a new Finder window. I'm going to navigate to this particular computer's hard drive, which is 106 USS. It has a little hard drive icon. Your hard drive should be named the same thing. I'm going to click on that. Navigate down to the Users folder. You can open that up, and this contains what is called your Home folder. It's the little folder that has the house icon. Uh, it ha should have your first initial, your middle initial, last name, and your grade. Just like this. This says T student 11. And this is the folder that we want to back up. It contains all of your stuff that you have saved on your computer, your applications, uh, desktop, documents, downloads, all your music and movies, pictures, all your stuff. So what we want to do is we want to find out how much stuff we have exactly. So I'm going to do another Command I. And up here in the right hand corner it says we have 3.55 gigs. So uh, comparing that to our 249 gigs on our external hard drive, I know that I'm going to have enough space. So we'll close that. And to start the backup process, this is very simple. We just take our home folder that we just looked at and we drag it to our mounted external hard drive. And immediately you should see it starts copying everything over. Right here you see we have the transfer rate and it says it's going to take about three to four minutes for me. I'm assuming you guys have a lot more stuff than three gigs, a lot of you will. Um, so it could take several minutes, maybe a half hour, maybe even up to an hour to copy all of your stuff over. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this to copy. Alright, it looks like we're almost done copying here. It's telling me I have about five seconds left. There we go. All right, we can go ahead and close this window if we want to. And I'm going to open up my external hard drive, the drive that I just backed everything up on, and I want to make sure that I have everything there. So there's our folder. That's the folder that copied over. We won't have the little home icon like we do on the computer, but that's the folder that we're looking for. So open it up, and I see I, I do have all my applications, my desktop, my documents, everything's there. I'm going to do a quick check on this just to make sure everything copied over. So I'm going to do one more time. I'm going to do a command I to get info on this folder on my external hard drive. And right up here we see 3.55 gigs. So it looks like we got everything. I want to go ahead and note too that this number may not be exact depending on the drive you have. Sometimes there's a slight variance. Um, if it's a matter of gigabytes, you may want to do your backup process over again just to make sure that you did get everything. But like I said, sometimes there's a, there's a very slight variance in number here. But this one happens to be exact, so that's good. And then even if you want to, if you want to be uh, super secure and you want to double check that you have everything, uh, you can go through all your applications that you may have put on there personally and check and see. Uh, to make sure everything's there, you can go through your documents just to make sure that you have everything, your pictures, if you want to. You don't have to. I would recommend doing that just so you can be um, 
you can have peace of mind that you did get everything. All right, so we can close this out. We can drag our hard drive to the trash to eject it. If you have any more questions or concerns regarding backing up your computer, please feel free to stop into the Library Tech Center and ask myself or any other tech staff. Um, we'd be more than willing to help you with any of the concerns that you have and try to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks a lot. Happy backing up.